if I point it at the sun, we're gonna go blind. Holy cow. Sun is stupid strong today. Alright, let's get over to some chat activities. Let's see it's what? Let's see who's here. All the good stuff. American, what is that? American public something or other. With the dude from Rambo. Friggin' yikes. Alright. We're fired up. What do we got? 108 people. Sounds good. Sounds like a good start. Marta, Tom Mack, Janice, Venus, Bert, Val Marie, Sony, Tom Mack. Kevin, Jim, Chanel for Shell. Angie, I just picked up that package today. I haven't opened it yet, but I just picked it up, so I'm going to thank you in advance. Gary kicking off Super Chat activities with a few bucks for parking. I do appreciate that. Thank you very much. Freaking uh, Venetian is expensive to park at these days. Remember the old, good old days when it was free? <laughs> The good old days when a lot of stuff was free. Holy freaking cow. Alan, what's going on? Right, let's see who else is here. Do, 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 do. Great day, Mom. I think I got everyone. Eve. Mary Leathers. I like putting uh, like some emphasis on names. Cindy. <laughs> Nope. See, I have like a different one for everyone. Gary again. Dude, it socks on a duck. Bro, Mania is running wild. Absolutely. Farmer, how are you? Maria. Crypto. Right? Reminds you of a Renaissance fair, right? <laughs> Except for the, the boobies hanging out. I haven't seen any of that. Lynn. Shout out Guam. Stewart. Keith Bubba. Da, 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 da. I'm, I'm, I'm scanning, I'm looking. 153 people already, that's cool. Maybe I'll do like 30 seconds of vertical, see if we can get that 4,000 viewer spike again. <laughs> Chris Miller, Tom Helm, I'll see you next week. I'll see a lot of you next week, that's gonna be cool. James, where's your next coffee at? I'm thinking, I, I got a bunch of shit to do tomorrow. I'm thinking I might have to be over by Ellis Island. I keep saying that, but I've been, you know, the, the thing I have to do in that neck of the woods has been on hold for a while, but I think I can get it. It's not like a crucial thing, but I think I gotta get over there tomorrow. So maybe we'll do that. But, in the meantime, I bought a coffee over here. <laughs> and I need my afternoon coffee, even though it's freaking hot out. It is, I mean, according to the but when I got out of the car, it was 84.6. Kind of ugly in the grand scheme of things, but nice, but ugly, but nice, but ugly at the same time. I based out here. You and Keith are going to be holding down the fort. I know. That's going to be, it's going to be interesting next week. And I will do some live streaming next week, of course. And so you'll see all the people who are here and you know, get to participate in certain things. It's yet to be determined. TBD, but we'll figure it out. This camera around for the blind. And a Whoa, that's super wide. It's sunny. Who's officially retired? Eve, you're officially retired. That's freaking cool. Congratulations. Someday I will be there too. <laughs> no time soon. I have a feeling I'm going to work till the day I die, which is okay. I'm okay with that. Unless I get my little soldiers all lined up. Dollar, dollar, bill, you. You, you got Sporkenstein. You got snow still? 
what is it, April? Yeah, you probably still got some snow going on. All right. Look at this. What? <laughs> no. Oh, let me turn that around. Oh, my goodness. I, no. <laughs> no. Right. That sun is just ripping. That big, bright ball over there. Bastard. All right. Let me, let me get in the shade a second longer. And let me, uh, there's something I need. Yeah, I need some, I got to get new ones. You know, ever since the ones, my, my favorite super dark glasses, uh, my uh, Maui gyms got stolen from the valet at Vidara Bastards, um, I haven't, haven't been inspired to pick up another pair because A, those are like 500 and something bucks, you know, plus tax and licensing, you know, so one of those things. I got a couple of cheap pairs. I got like my other pair. I had like my, my upper, you know, sunglass holder folded down and had two. So they didn't take the cheap ones. They were smart. So they left the cheaper ones, which are, I don't know, sharp or something like that. They're like 50 bucks, but they're starting to get scratched. Not on the outside, but on the inside, you know, where like the, ta the ear tabs fold in. I'm sitting up in that thing and just constantly like rubbing and rubbing and rubbing when I'm out four wheeling. Um, they made like marks and they're like right in front of my, my eyeballs so I gotta I, I'm really fussy I'm really fussy about shades I gotta go and get some because this is not cutting it me going like this constantly is not cutting it <laughs> the, the downside of the blue eyes mm. but I do have to say bro Frederick coming at you live from Las Vegas strip and I'm gonna invite you to like share subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified when I do this again which will be at least five times a week and if you want to support the channel you can do what Gary did drop some super chat activities because that is the grease that keeps the wheels rolling and I got all the links and don't forget the main link paperoffredrick.com go check out my website which is also my own streaming platform so uh we talk about everything what did we talk about yesterday we did a live stream yesterday about the virtues I'm cooking the vir the virtues of virtual numbers, virtual phone numbers. That is, and why you should get one, and why it's in your own best interest. And then we're going to cover uh, probably soon, probably sometime this week also, virtual email addresses. And we also discussed uh, email security and how to keep out of trouble, not get spammed and trolled and. Uh, hacked and all that other bullshit so we covered that so go check that out too yeah that hey ron what's going on we're gonna are you gonna like you gonna stop by and say hello to people so what mr ron does everyone want to see you? i want to see it bro i haven't seen you in a long time but anyway let me turn this around we're gonna do some people watching today bonk Bonk. I, I don't know what the connectivity issue is. I haven't tested it yet. I can't test it until I'm actually live, so we shall see what the deal is. But let's go look around in the meantime. Let's see, where do I want to go? I'm going to go and then out through the indoor, and I want to hang out on the bridge for a while. Check out some people's. That's my favorite thing to do in Vegas, is people watching. Because I am a student of the human condition. Alright. I'm going to wait. I got my hands full. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh. Might be having coffee in here. <laughs> Anyone know how much for the soundtrack to love? The love boat promises something for everyone. Is that what you're talking about? I could do that for you. The love boat. Dun, dun, dun. That's the only line I know.
That's what I need. I need a spa day. <laughs> I need to go mudding. Bruh, had a Sparta kick those things. Right. Shade. Woo! Sean, how are you? Love. Sure, it's a foul. Maybe it's at the store. When you're in town, you can check that out. At the Beatles shop or whatever it is over there. It's probably like a hundred bucks, but still. Where's the shade? I found a piece. Oh, there's a piece of shade over here, but not really. Is it? No. Oh. <laughs> Saying it so. As soon as I get to where I can relax a second without being blinded, I'm gonna check the connection. The 5G, see if it even exists. All right. Yeah, remember the guest stars? And what was after that? I remember watching it when I was a kid. My mom was into all that stuff. What she used to watch? Oh, and then it was Fantasy Island. Smiles, everyone, smiles. I remember that part. I remember Julie on the love boat. All right, let's check internet connectivity. See if we can walk around or whether we're, all right, so we are gonna glitch for a second. But uh, let's see what happens. Five. Music loud and clear is a fail. Alrighty. Well, that was a fail. Still no connection here in Las Vegas. This is getting absolutely fucking pathetic. I'm really getting pissed off. Yeah, Fantasy Island was weird. I didn't actually understand the whole concept. You know, it was like magic, or I don't, I don't know, he was a demon. Yeah, connection is just, just freaking terrible. It pisses me off. I've about had it. Putting such a cramp in the thing I want to do. Now, once again, I'm tied to a specific property. Oh, shit. What's that? Stuff. I like being tethered, I'm too much of a free spirit. What's going on here? Oh, it was a nice spot. Yeah, it's going to be hot next week, from what I understand. We shall see. Depends on your tolerance, too. But it'll be in the 90s. And it is not cooling off at night. We had that brief uh, 70s for the past couple of days. It's been absolutely beautiful. But, shit. <laughs> yeah, one of those, like, tiny uh, EDC umbrellas is good for the sun. Because sunscreen is bullshit. Sun sunscreen is actually bad for you. We'll talk about that over on my platform. We can't talk about that here, you know. Because they'll be like, Hey, Bull Frederick. Copper tone more ads on you. Now they won't. So we're demonetizing your entire video. Ah. 
uh, most deodorant is pretty freaking bad for you, too. And then the natural ones really don't work. So it's like, you know, stink or die. <laughs> it's the choice you have with deodorant. Stink or die. Die early, whatever. Mess up your lymphatic system. But you do need sun, you know? Everyone, like, they, I wouldn't say everyone, but most people are vitamin that's because they're not going in the sun. We were brainwashed that the sun is bad. The sun is hot. <laughs> and it does burn you, but... It's one of the only sources of vitamin D if you're not supplementing. You know, I take like 20,000 IUs a day. It's not awesome. Because I spend a lot of time in front of a computer and shit. You know what I'm saying? they say so well sunscreen is like I said it's poison it's, it's, if you understood how toxic it was you wouldn't worry about it overexposure to the sun yeah it could cause some problems but they just want you you know they just want you on something at some point just like they told you salt was bad pre-existing condition it's, it could be kind of bad but other than that not really It's an electrolyte, <laughs> you know? Untold amounts, like unreasonable amounts of freaking sodium. <laughs> She's singing a mortar behind us. She's doing her best. I don't get a lot of sun either. I mean, the best sun actually is morning sun. There's been studies that show that if you look at morning sun with your eyes closed, it improves your eyesight. I don't know the validity of it. I never really, like, did a test. But, Kyle, what's going on? Who's wearing Daisy Dukes? <laughs> <laughs> Picks or it didn't happen. Mm. We live in an era of superstructure fail. We live in an era of uh, a lot of shit that we can't talk about. Yeah, pack with your liquid IV. And Angie, thank you for posting that. That's on sale. I gotta grab me some. I keep saying it, but I've been waiting for it to kind of go on sale. It's kind of not cheap anymore. It used to be so cheap and reasonable to get your liquid IV. Now it's like, wow. And I rip through this stuff. Who's wearing thongs? Is all the ladies wearing thongs on a strip? That's cool. That way we know who you are. Those are the Pro Nation ladies, or the ones with the thongs. Yeah, the lymphatic system. <laughs> People, <laughs> that, you know, you, you know what I'm trying to say. I, I, I gotta be careful about what I say. I don't give a shit about what I say. On my own platform, but lymphatic system is, yeah. <sighs> okay separate this nicely let's say let's talk about the weather for a second yeah it's beautiful out nice cool breeze uh sunscreen and uh most deodorant uh look at those beautiful palm trees sun setting golden hours screw up your lymphatic system uh look at the beautiful boats all right there <laughs> i can't believe i have to do that in, in freaking america you know unconstitutional bs that ball of sun over there. That's sick. My next wife used to call it, oh, butt floss. 
does the Aria tram cost? No, that is free. It's kind of quick and it's kind of, you know, it's where you need to go. But it is free. And I don't see them doing anything about that. Supposedly, that's considered part of your uh, resorts fee. Banana hammocks. I got a banana hammock somewhere. I got one of them things with the freaking, you know, like looks like an elephant and whatnot. I never put it on. It was a gift. I saved it. Town is quiet, all things considered. You know, I was back at the convention at NAP today, and that's that's pretty quiet. It honestly is. Compared to what it was. It was busier the year, the first year it opened after the shutdown, which is kind of weird too. <laughs> Ms. Google. What? Louis Vuitton who? Oh, I gotta finish my coffee. Let's look in this direction for a second. Taking all the boats. Granted, I'd be more into like a Ranger. 22 foot Ranger. With a 225 horsepower motor. 48 volt trolling motor on the front. Yeah. Maria with the five bananaramas. That'll definitely help with the parking activities. What's going on, Josh? Yeah, I know. Isn't that sad that we gotta do stuff like that? Play freaking board games. It's just a matter of time before a lot of content creators do what I'm doing. Just start their own private thing, you know? It's the way to go. It is the future. Not as many people to look at over here. Whoa, that sun. That sun's being an asshole. See? Man, I'm gonna sit this down over here. Let's see how far we can go with this connection. You can't sit over here. Well, I can, but I can't. That's lame. I can sit in a garbage pail like frickin' Oscar. <laughs> That's trippy. Am I, is there speakers over here? Seriously? Like, why? Is that important? I guess so. I got a soundtrack in my own head always going. The, what do you call it? The monks got one. They got a live one. They got a live one. Sylvia Laren. Yeah. Those, I'm surprised those speakers even work. I'm catching up on chat. Alright, everyone's finally coming back in. That's such a, like, a strong arm way to try to make money. Yeah, let me get, that's just as bad as, like, the CD people. I understand what they're trying to do, but serious. What's up, Gary M? I lived in California twice, too. That's odd. It was all right. I don't like it all that much. Weather was pretty nice where I was at. Oh, that's for you, Great Day Mom. There goes a uh, Beatles love truck coming up out of the left. I mean, out of the right.
book, guys. They just actually took something out of the garbage and they're sharing it. But, see, all they have to do is renounce their citizenship and then run across the border and then they'd be set for life. Tom Hill, member for 40, oh my goodness, yeah, you're an OG, bro, 40 months. Is this channel actually going on four years old already? It's going to be four years old in uh, August. Crazy. I, I can't believe it. Time does fly by. It's been quite the ride. Yeah, Jacob, you are you are right about that. I mean, California still does that. It's like a tax. Yeah, it's like tax and expatriates. So how did everyone do on their uh, taxes this year? Did you end up owing like uh, fifteen hundred to the crane? <laughs> to Zelin, that guy. It's like damn. Can I, can I use him as a dependent in this whole family? Yeah, it's cooling down a little bit, thank God. Yeah, we can't talk about it here. You got that thousand, yeah, thousand yard stare for sure. I do that a lot. <laughs> I don't want to be bald. When I feel a thousand yard stare coming on when I'm passing someone, I turn mine on. That way we're both looking into the abyss. Don't give them the satisfaction. So I did discuss the, uh, what do you call it issue? The non scroll issue. You know, my, my other members know what I'm talking about. With this, I met with the software engineers for, uh, like, a late breakfast yesterday. Well, that should get solved. Yeah, exactly. Random thousand-yard stairs. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know anything either. I, I put enough aside. I love being able to read the chat. That's one of the pluses of not walking around at nine miles an hour. I got to see what you guys is talking about. At least that, this one over here that's coming out of the tunnel, at least she's going slow. If you see her pass. Yeah, Phil, I, I encountered the same thing once. They were like, oh, uh, yeah, I think, you know what? I think one time when we were walking around by New York, New York, they tried pulling that on us, remember? I think that was who I was walking around with. They were like, no, you're a bunch of R-A-C-I-S-T-S for not giving me money for my CD. You hate. I'm like, <laughs> shit, bro. No, right now I'm hating you because you're an asshole. Not because of the color of your skin, because I can give two shits about that. You're just being a dick. That's okay. That's me. The Westgate, um, I didn't really get that much time to walk around it. I, I left almost as soon as I got done with that live stream yesterday to make it back in time to do the other live on my, uh, my platform. I did that at 6. I got home, you know, with like an hour to spare. I made some meatballs. <laughs> made a couple of little meatballs, and it was good. 99 cents. I got a deal. Well, I think I took a picture. I'll show you guys, maybe. I showed it yesterday. 
but I didn't really get to look around it. Let me see if I can find that. I didn't really get to look around. Let's, you know, that, never, that place never changes, ever. I go to the Asian market. I get this here. Bam. What a beauty. Lean ground beef, 99 cents a pound. Still the best deal in town. I buy like pounds at a time, depending on how my freezer is looking. So I took three pounds and two eggs, gluten-free breadcrumbs, some thyme, tiny bit of garlic powder, onion powder. What else did I put in there? Uh, celery salt, Himalayan salt, and a bunch of powder, and a couple of like chopped, uh, very finely chopped onions. And I mixed it up and I made some meatballs and some burgers. Freaking good. 99 cents a pound. Unfortunately, that's the only thing they ever have deals on anymore at the Asian spot. They call it the 99. There's nothing in there for 99 cents except that. It's like, and it's always on sale. It doesn't matter when you go. Yeah, don't, don't, don't be pulling no cards with me. You know what I'm saying? I got some cards of my own. I have no guilt. Because <laughs> I didn't have a choice in the matter. I don't understand the whole guilt thing. I didn't pick. And I don't, you know, when people have tremendous pride, am I proud to be of, I was just, I got this, ugh, that's disgusting, bro. You are gross. That's why I don't like shaking hands with most people. That was just absolutely disgusting. He's not on camera yet, but he's gross. You know, yeah, I'm proud to be Scandinavian, this and that. And I, look at this guy's like, oh, you are gross, dude. He's like picking boogers and blowing his nose like a landscaper and whatnot. Oh, disgusting. People. Anyway, um, but in the grand scheme of things, you know, before, when I was conceived, when my moms and dads was knocking boots, I, I didn't, there was no clipboard to like check off what I wanted to be. What color, what sex, what anything, you know? How tall, how short, you know, D size. There was no checklist, you know? So people being all wrapped up in the pride of that, I mean, it's okay to know your heritage and everything, but the whole thing about it is like, really? <laughs> Did you pick that, you know? You had nothing to do with that shit. Plop, you're here. Deal with it. That's all I got to say about that. Oh yeah, the gold jewelers. That, those are the funniest. That's uh, that, that's sometimes Armenian people, but it's a lot of gypsies. There's a lot of gypsies in town here, and they do stuff like that. Hey, um, you know, I got all this gold. Three hundred bucks. Offer them five. <laughs> Give it to your kids because it's shit, you know. And they'll get all insulted. Like, how come it's that color? Oh, that's because it's twenty-nine carat. I never heard of twenty-nine carat. No, no, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Shut up. How's the temperature been at night? It has been. Uh, it's been in the, it, it cooled down for two days straight, one of them including yesterday, so it got down into like the mid-60s, but uh, when it's 85, it's probably going to go down to like the mid-70s. There's not that much differential from here on out. So if it's going to be in the 90s next week, it'll be like 75 at night, but it's a desert 75, so it's a little cooler. A little cooler. 
Not much. Because the town still radiates heat off of the sidewalk and the concrete. You know, you really don't feel it. Like, it's beautiful. I'm in the shade and there is a beautiful breeze. It's a few degrees cooler. It's nice. I, yeah, I would bring some type of sweater. The casinos are not cranking up the AC quite yet. So you're not going to be in that, you know, sticker shock of walking inside and being like, whoa, you know. From 100 down to like 74. It's not like that. They're, they're conserving at this point. Who has a beer gut? Not me. I don't drink beer. <laughs> I like my testosterone. White sweater, you know, not you know, not like some alpaca <laughs> blend, heavy duty, anything. It's a light, just like a wrap. You'll be fine. Five banana rims from my man Phil. What up, brother? Five. We all have some fun. I remember when, like back in the day. When, uh, shit, when I was a kid, who was, who was that when I was a kid? Um, uh, bands like, like New York garage bands, like Biohazard and, you know, bands like that, Typo Negative, they all started out as, like, garage bands in either Long Island or Brooklyn, and we used to go see them at various parties before they ever made it to a concert hall, and they used to sell CDs. But, you know, there'd actually be music on them. That's how they'd make money after a, a garage concert. Most of it was covers, but they were good. Yeah, we'll do some polka. <laughs> polka music. Some Lawrence Welk polka music. Shit, I wish I could put my AC down to uh, 60 degrees. I got my electric bill due at the end of the month. Uh, for March, 384 bucks. $384. That's what I used to pay. Like, we spare some change. If I had some, I would, bro. Give us some Bitcoin. Um, yeah, it's apps. It's it's gone. It's gone nuts. I mean, on my shit here. It's it's I'm like precariously perched on this dome thing over here. I'm gonna make sure this guy doesn't like reach over and knock it in the water out of spite and then I'll have to go swimming. But that's what my bill used to be in the summer four years ago. In the post uh you know genionomics because he's a genius. It's it's a lot. Yeah, I mean, granted, I do run my AC, but, you know, I keep the house, you guys know, at night at 69, during the day at 72, and it doesn't run that much either, so I don't, I, I'm, I'm a scared of what the bill's gonna be in, like, July and all, was it gonna be $700, because that's double, that is literally... Two hundred dollars more than my normal bill, easily. This time of year. So what is that? Uh, da -da -da, let's do some math. Da -da -da, One hundred and ten percent. So if my bill is four hundred, so that makes it eight hundred. So it's going to be like eight fifty in the summer to keep my house cool. My studio running it up. Nah, not really. I mean, it is, but it isn't. You know, the lights that I have are mostly like LEDs. The computers are constantly on and all that. Yeah, but it's it's just the fact that it's gone. You know, they they go for approval for price hikes like every three months. I wish I could get a price hike every three months, and they get. 
you know, they and gaslight the f out of people. They're saying like, oh, you know, yes, we we it is another increase, but most people won't pay in more. Well, who will be? <laughs> and most people won't pay him be paying more, but who will be? I saw. I mean, oh, I see some people like in my neighborhood as I you know drive past and whatnot. Um, actually, with their windows open, you know that's how bad it's getting. People are just like, "F it, we're gonna drive around. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna have our windows open and try to stay cool, like it's freaking 1962 or some shit." You know that is terrible. And besides, if you keep your windows open in Las Vegas, it will look like. You'll have a quarter inch of dust within a few hours. This is one of the most dusty places ever. <laughs> like, you have to change your AC filter. You really should be changing them, like, every two weeks. <laughs> you know, I change mine once a month because they just get so clogged. And that eats up your, uh, your money, too. But, yeah, it's so dusty here. Inside of your car, inside of your house. You can dust, and then within a you can literally run your finger across something and see more dust. It just never, never ends. Your electric bill is about 140 in the winter and 250 in the summer. Really, that's that's <laughs> that's less than a half of what I'm paying. Yikes! I wish. I'd be, I, I, see, that, that's how they're brainwashing us. I was about to say, I'd be happy with that. But I remember years ago, I mean, not, you know, okay, one administration ago, it went down as low as like 60 bucks during the winter. I was barely, you know, the minimum that's included in your base electric bill, I was barely hitting that using the same amount of electric as I do now. Now it's just like, see ya. Alright, let's see what's going on here. This guy's trying to make time. He's like, how you doing? Dig my ponytail? It's a solid size zero in the lead there. Good on her. You're running the pool with that? Is it your pool? You're running the pool with that kind of uh with that kind of electric well, why is it a show that I have three people watching? Is that even remotely possible that there's three people? Is that actually it's, it's literally showing that there's three people on, on live right now. Is it three? Oh, because we're, we're glitching like a freak. Maybe that's why. So there's three people. Yeah, it's got to be in crime. There, there, it's messed up. But we are glitching for some reason. I'm going to move. Da, 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 da. Let's move over here. Now there's one. <laughs> That's me. I'm, I'm watching myself. That's funny. Yeah, YT's been like ganked. They won't admit it, but they are. That's why I was curious if maybe the connection problems have something to do with YT. Oh, well, you know what? While I got everyone... Oh, I'm up to nine. I'm going to go vertical for a second. I, I want to test the theory. Alright, hold on. Stand by for this. I'm not in the habit of it, but this is just, this is just, for, this is just for science. For science...
Yeah, just based on who's chatting, I know there's more than nine people in here. Just like the other night. It said I had uh, 4,900 people. <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay, that'd be cool. Although, I did somehow pick up a thousand subscribers, not a thousand, 105 subscribers that night. You know, it, just odd. Just odd shit taking place. Alright, let's go. There, all right, we're back. Bomb. Yeah, they uh, they want everyone. So that's the that's the theory. I don't know if it's true or not. But they in the back end, um, you might have a slightly different back end that I do because I'm monetized. But they are con every time I fire it up, they're they're uh, you know putting a giant notification across the top saying uh, you know do do verticals. You know, and I'm just like no. Uh, I don't want to, but they want me to. And you have to dismiss it every time. Dismiss, dismiss, dismiss. Because they want to compete with, oh, that dude's wearing those. He's got the $1,300 Louis Vuitton sneakers that I want. <laughs> oh, I'm up to eight. Cool. Oh, I'm back down to two. Uh, usually when they're having a problem, they dashboard too. They're like, yeah, we realize we're having a problem. Your view count might be different for yesterday, but don't worry, it'll be corrected. Then they'll send a notification saying, hey, it was corrected, but the view count never changes. It's like, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, we're, we're partners, all right. Anyway, um, yeah, they just, they just want, every, they want everyone to help them compete with, uh, you know, Blick Block or whatever it's called. And wheels and the rest of them. The whole vertical strategy. I think verticals like which, which is this? Yeah, thirteen hundred for sneakers. That's why I don't have them. <laughs> I just like looking at them, you know, because they're awesome. Would you get mad if I asked you for a sugar? Nah, thank you. <sighs> but they are cool though. Now it's nice out. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just, just. I'm not gonna do it now. It's gonna go part of it. it. You can't see anything. Nothing's in context. You know. If I was like a 50 year old woman who just got divorced and I was complaining about my husband, yeah, then that might be like cause for vertical. You know, you could see like some boobies and. You know, her body gestures, and then you don't see the cats and all that. But just for stuff like this, I mean, vertical is nonsense. It's nonsensical. Yeah. Bums be bumming. Everyone's, like, so mellow right now. Look at the pace by, at which everyone's walking. Everyone's like so taking their time. Like, look at look at these two guys right here. If they're walking in slower, they'd be going backwards. Man, everyone's just like, look. Everyone's like, I feel like I'm in a dream. Look, look. It's like everyone's on like 80 <laughs> percent. That's 40. Yeah, if I stand here long enough, you know, some freaking hookers will show up too. Looking for a good time? Looking for some company? Need a date? None of the above? Yeah, but right now it is, it is, it is beautiful right now. This breeze is like, I can't even describe it. It's just so perfect right now. The breeze, anyway. And I'm in the shade. It just seems like a mellow Tuesday. Everyone's just chilling. I don't see any uh, convention goers. I haven't seen one badge. But they're all the way at uh, 
LBCC. I gotta go back there tomorrow. Just to say my goodbyes. See some stuff I might have missed. I was trying out some of the AI technology, you know, from, uh, that, that's the whole basic thing uh, over at the convention now. Everything's AI video. Most of it, like 90% of it sucks. I've tried so many different programs. Like, I was telling you guys yesterday, they have these programs that you could feed an entire video into. And it just bangs out shorts and puts captions, which is cool. I mean, that, that would be ideal. Grand. Plus, like, uh, you know, it would end up costing like 50 bucks a month, you know, to, to pump out. I mean, you could literally pump them out like a freak. But the quality, the quality of the video is not bad. Like, I did, I signed up for a couple of trials. But the quality of the video, I'll be honest, is not bad. It auto, how you doing? It auto centers if you're moving around. Like, it picks out pretty decent. Like, the AI goes in there, picks out topics and whatever. So, it's it's decent on the video. The quality isn't great, but it's a freaking 30 second short, so who cares, you know? But the problem is, and I gotta talk to them about it even more, is that the AI jacks my voice up. You know, it's a you know, it, it, it's not me. You know, one of my one of my characteristics is I believe is my voice. You know, if I come on, you know, your TV when you know you're washing dishes or whatever, you kind of know it's me. You know, am I wrong? So I sort of like you know I want to keep the identity of my voice. That's one of my strong suits. I think I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but. The AI just sounds, it, it, it makes it warbly. Like that digital, I don't know why they even have to mess with the voice. Now I could go back in and pull the audio from the original track and put it in there, but then, then I'm working again. So a few AI, you know, that that's what, what, I don't understand why they're messing with the voice. Make it sound better. What were they like, oh, it's too deep. This guy's got too much testosterone. Let me make him sound like a freaking warbler. It's like, no, it's just not ready for prime time. Not ready. Not not to the tune of, you know, six hundred a year or more. They they don't even charge. It's not even like a monthly thing. It's like for an allocation of credits. <laughs> you know, that's how they're starting to charge for all this. Age. Because it's all powered by ChatGPT, which is open source. So they're inventing their own, you know, programs based on it. So yes, they're doing their own machine learning and the rest of that. But, you know, wh why are you jacking with people's voices? Don't jack with my voice, bro. recognize me but not really at the same time yeah all right Marta I, I I'm with you I mean I, I understand that at least I'm honest about it you know and if I want it if I wanted to you know I, I can't make it go higher but I can make it go a little you know it's it's sort of I wouldn't say like a trademark thing but it's it's an identifying factor you know, my inflections and, you know, the overall tonage of my voice. I know that. I've known that, you know, forever. That's why I got into, you know, broadcasting and radio and the rest of it. Because it's, you know, it's an identifying thing. It sets me apart. You know, so I appreciate you confirming that. But why screw with it, you know? I don't understand that. There, there, there should be a button. Like, do you want AI applied? Just to the video or just to the voice? I'm gonna be paying, you know, hundreds a month to sound like a freaking. I can't even describe it. It's just a warble. <laughs> warble, 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 warble. That's what it sounds like. It's like, nah, I'm good. I'm good, yo. And I had such high hopes. I spent last night, most of last night, digging through all this AI technology that they said was gonna make my life great. Oh, did I, did I, am I missing a super chat? 
It says we have five people on. <laughs> That's funny. I did miss Mary Leathers with the 10 banana randoms. Quite the most storm. Can't wait to see you and everyone. I, I cannot wait to see you also. Oh, I just got an error that said uh, resource expired or not available. Whatever that means. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone. I'm getting my wardrobe ready. <laughs> Still haven't decided what I'm gonna wear yet. Yeah, I mean, Dali is good too, but you know, it, it's, it's definitely not ready to compete with like the likes of Mid Journey. You know, and Mid Journey's still screwed up to a certain degree. You have to get really good at, at prompt engineering to pull the best out of it. You got to put in terms like hyper realistic, using a 2.8, you know, 24 millimeter lens. I mean, you have to get so detailed to make uh, mid journey work. Dally's just like okay at the at the bare minimum, and then the one by one aspect ratio they constantly want to pump out is stupid too. You know, and then you, they, they're constantly showing, uh, let's point this for a second, because, bam, got the volcano going off, um, yeah, they're constantly showing, oh, look how good AI is getting with video and pictures, yes, it is, it is, but it needs work, like, they're not telling you that on top of that, you know, they're bringing it into, like, Adobe After Effects and tweaking it and, you know, all the rest of that shit. If you want to figure out AI, whoa, that was sick. You know, all you got to do is look at the teeth and look at the hands, because AI has not figured out either yet. It's having a hard time with that shit. I'm getting a commercial right now, too, as a matter of fact. For braces. <laughs> I don't need no braces, yo. And the picture's jumping around like a freak, even though the connection is good. Yeah, it's probably the Eclipse. I was reading an article that people don't even think Eclipses are possible. Like, they did, like, a bunch of styrofoam balls, and they did everything to scale between the, the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun. And, uh, like, they were trying to prove that it's, a, it's an impossibility. I mean, they, they made a good claim. And then I watched another one about the flat Earth and whatever. You know, we're living in a dome, and there's reptiles and Antarctica and stuff. It's pretty cool. Love them reptiles. Watched another video of a dude who took his gecko lizard and went to all the, uh, like, 23andMe, all, like, the DNA, the commercial DNA uh, services and submitted the uh, reptile DNA to all those services. And uh, it gave it ancestry. And each one that he sent it to kind of came up with the same ancestry. You know, your two-part... 2% Scandinavian, 7% this and that. They all came out the same. So they're probably all using the same service. Or we really are part reptile. One or the other. Who knows? Maybe there are reptiles in Antarctica. Living the life. Fuel Hauser? Who's that? Yeah, the finan it, it's the financial backer. I mean, huh, if you bought NVIDIA stock <laughs> right before the AI uh, surge, man, you'd be sitting pretty right now. I wouldn't buy it. I'm thinking it's kind of topped out. 
but you know nvidia is driving the whole thing you know their gpu is just critical you know they're selling those things like they're going out of style but the growth is not sustainable however um yeah you know people people don't understand what it's gonna do well it is gonna eventually make human beings uh null and void <laughs> you know aka uh skynet and whatnot but you know no time soon and you know like the millennials should worry about that what's going on ron good to see you good to see you too what's happening I have hello, a Ron. For you. What up, Ron? Hello, Broad Nation. What you got? Oh, no way. Wow. Hold everything. Let me put this in my pocket. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That is cool. That's magnetic. I love it. So you can put the whole backing on a metal surface and it'll stick there. I appreciate that. Thank yes. you, brother. No problem. So what are you doing out and about? I am on my way to see Beatles before they close. Really? Yeah. Um, 9.30 show is cheaper, everybody. <laughs> Could you look? Um, I think Great Dane Mom asked if they had uh, the soundtrack. Uh, they do. They do? They do. They do. Yeah, when I was looking it up, it all came out. All right, I got to put this on. <laughs> love it. I love it. So how you been doing? Oh, it's been great. This is it's a dream come true. I wake up every day and I'm like, I'm in Vegas. And, oh yeah, I live here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. Uh, Fremont has been killing it. Yeah. Uh, entertainment wise, the dancing DJs they're flipping around and doing all sorts of stuff all above the stages. Um, they have a they have a Christmas or they have a Halloween show and a uh, March Madness show. What call these? In, in, what kind of magnets are they? Wait, hold on. There we go. Okay, now I'm ready. I can communicate with my starship now. And with Ron, right? <laughs> yes, I have several. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Let's check the look. Let's see. Wish I put it directly over my booty. That is awesome. Thank you, Ron. I appreciate that. You are the man. So what else have you been up to? I've been everywhere exploring everything. I enjoyed every museum I could find. Uh, so I spent a lot of time at the Neon Museum, at the Tom Museum, and uh, basically seeing, trying to see everything before they closed. They, I moved here, they closed the Tropicana. They're closing the volcano or closing parts of the Mirage eventually. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was kind of on a side mission to see all the search shows. So I kind of, the only one left after this one will be home. Now Have I'm, you seen uh, Mystere? Yeah. Okay. They're all good. I would say Ta's the best. Ta felt like, uh, like a movie. Lots of kung fu and flipping around and whatnot and just optical amazing. Uh, Mystere had a big beat. Like a big <laughs> I mean, it's still good. You're still going to see people flipping around and whatnot and doing all sorts of amazing things, but if it's built around the music, it's going to be that. Cause Michael Jackson was that. I uh, wasn't as familiar with Beatles, so that was my last one to see. Um, o was the last one, and O was expensive, so I'll see for that. One. You seen O? Years ago, but yeah, it was fun. Pass by and give us a little. So, everyone's saying hello to Ron. What up, Ron? Love and Mysterio, my favorite search shows. Was better than. Da, 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 da. Uh, with any luck, yeah, with any luck, they'll cancel F1. <laughs> that, that was. Uh, I mean, Lawrence felt all about it, but it was. You know, I got here, I, got, I saw the city, and then they just started putting steel cages around. And I'm like, what? Um. And uh, if you don't live here, it was unbelievably bad. Imagine you couldn't go to your corner store in your town because it just shut down the roads and put all kinds of off. Yeah. You know, people don't realize, like, <clears throat> I look at those Facebook groups like Love Las Vegas and, you know, all that other stuff. And 
people are like, oh, you locals are a bunch of whiners. It's so good for you and this and that. And I'm just like, I, I didn't make any money off it, number one. It cost me money, if anything. But just the level of inconvenience was astronomical. And it wasn't like you could just go be a small part of it. It's either you buy the ticket or you're not a part of it. Well, you're not, yeah, you're just straight up not seeing it. So, I mean, I, so. I mean, if you don't have a ticket, there's no real reason to be down there because they're just going to keep yelling at you. Uh, and now they're going to make standing in the crosswalks illegal for this one. They'll ticket anyone who tries to. And it's not like you can really see something. You sort of see like blur going by. But in the grand scheme of things, they will start giving tickets out. Well, citations to cost people money. And people are also asking when that's going to start. And they're, they're telling it uh, mid-October. Not a, not a chance. You know, they cannot everything ready I think in started, six weeks it's impossible started in like August in yeah August, September. or you know it was right around September right at the beginning of mm -hmm. September was that a week all I remember and I don't think this road is ready to do it again they're gonna have to do something something preparatory because you could see a lot of gouges and you could see the you know, you can see the ruts where everyone's, you know, driving. That's nice. Super Bowl was a different story. Super Bowl was an adventure. Yeah. Because they just kept building all of these structures. They had a big spot uniform on top of the garage. In, in these um, uh, villas, they had uh, lodges. Little lodge buildings. They had all these, they were just promoting all of the shows. They had all these Super Bowl signs all over the place. Yeah. And even inside the casinos, you knew it was the Super Bowl. You know, there was a tie-in. It, it was kind of fun. I enjoyed that. But with F1, the casinos weren't really, like, on the, you know, there was no checkered flags. And other than the merch they were selling, there was no tie-in inside and outside. It was just like, you know, whatever. And they're already touting how much money it made for the town, but they're not talking about how much money the town lost prior to. Downtown was hurt. Downtown was empty. Yeah. And they were trying to promote it. They wanted people to come down there. I mean, if, if you come here doing that, you can't have your, you can't do your regular Vegas thing. Mm -mm. You're not going to be able to move around. And I used to, well, I still, I like to look at everything. Mm -hmm. And you put steel cages in front of it, get seated. It's weird. Time to look. I gotta. I want to see some. YT has been like ridiculous. They've been showing me that I have nine people watching right now. I want to see if that's changed. Oh, back up to a hundred. <laughs> that's crazy. Is he gonna be around next week? Yeah. All right. Yeah, what the F U F one T shirt. <laughs> that was cool. Downtown's gonna start their concert series pretty soon. Well they're, they're doing it for April. They're having semi known bands, so that's exciting just to be able to go that every Friday. Who have you seen so far? I saw uh Alien. Mm -hmm. the uh cover of Smooth Criminal, but I used to look at it when I didn't live here, and like, oh, I missed that one, so <laughs> now it's just like anybody that they're, they're having, I can just go see it, so it's just, it's a joy little bit. Good. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. I'm glad you don't have, some people have regrets getting here because their expectations are a little wonky, you know? They think about more, like you're doing the town different, you're doing... You know, the shows, the sights, the stuff, you know, as a local, which not a lot of locals do anymore. But people think they're going to just sit in casinos and drink and gamble like if they were tourists. And no, <laughs> it just does not work like that. You go broke quick. You have some of the best entertainment in the world. Mm-hmm. Like you said, it's in my backyard. Yep. And the best people watching. I could just it's sit so out cool. here and people watch, figure people out and whatever.
Like, I'm just amazed that dude's sneakers are still so perfect. <laughs> you know, things like that hit me in the head. Like, this guy, too. It's like, damn, bro. He's got his toothbrush to clean them. And things like that catch my eye. Yeah. Living here is what you make it. And if you, if you like to learn, you like like you like museums, that stuff is available. Mm -hmm. uh, the history type things. Which I live near Philly, so the nearest museum was an hour away, the nearest airport was an hour away. Just just watching the planes take off is amazing every four or five minutes. And uh, you know, I drive by the airport's right there, you look right into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like playing watching too. Is that uh that one spot on what the heck is the name of it? Not Russell. Drawing a blank. There's this a parking like parking zone there where you can sit I there and play and watch. I haven't located it yet. Um, I usually if you're just on like the strip there's a sign as you get view or by uh but I gotta find that place because I, yeah, I gotta see that. It's kind of cool. So you've been, hmm? you've been to the to the, uh, the watching area? Okay. Years ago, not recently. They closed it during the uh, the shutdown, and every time I pass it, it's like on the <laughs> it's in front of uh, the road that cross that goes into town center down on the South Strip. You come off the bridge. That I forgot the name of that road, but if you're traveling on the westbound lane, you could just pull right in and there's parking for like 20 or 30 vehicles and you could just sit there and the planes are, you know, as far away as the Palazzo. It's kind of cool. I, I plan to see everything in my Yeah, you will. And, uh, it's, it's a privilege to wake up every day. It really is. Especially if you love it, you know, as much as we do. They had like a thousand people with bagpipes all playing the same tune. I was like, whoa. Halloween and uh, St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day is five days here. And Halloween is a little long down too. Mm -hmm. Get ready to say no. No, thank you. Which they just don't take anything that anybody offers you. No. Besides the negative vibe factor. Like from near Philly. ABC. And uh, I noticed even the homeless, there's, there's people are not afraid to approach you. Where in Philly, you know, we have a murder problem. Yeah. They have, so people are less likely to approach you. But I was really surprised, even the homeless, they're like, hey, how's it going? Like, and it's just like, what? Like, it's, you know, as an outside of the place. Like, yeah, like in the beginning, it's a little off putting, you know. I remember the first time I ever came to Vegas. That was my. That was my intro to Vegas. I drove across country from New York, you know, had the drag in the car, the big Penske truck, the whole bit, and I stopped to stretch my legs in a 7-Eleven or whatever. The first human being I met in Las Vegas was like, hey, you got a dollar? <laughs> I was like, oh, dang. <laughs> you know, and I questioned my, uh, my move at that point, but yeah, it's kind of common and normal to approach people here. Yeah, Weird. you get approached a lot because people want something here. Yeah. Uh, which, it's almost to, if I know I'm being approached, I know it's either BS or it's something like that. Uh, but, uh, you know, beautiful women never approach me. No. It's always something Isn't that weird? BS. Yeah. <laughs> Except if you're sitting in front of a slot machine at 2 in the morning. Oh, they oh, oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> then they're like, hey, how are you? Where are you from? You need some company? Do you party? Want to party? Like, no. But that makes me sad right there. I mean, that yeah, that's it's, so it's, sad. It's so, so sad. Yeah. There's some... I don't know some of them are happy, which, which kind of su surprised me. Um, you know, you know, I'll just... 
Well, I was outside of a place, and there was a guy pushing a shopping cart, and he wanted to testify about, you know, God, I was just like, kind of caught me off guard. Like, you know, I don't know. From, being from Philly, like around Philly, you just don't know. People will approach you, hey, you got a dollar, and then, you know, they're, they're robbing you. Next thing you know, you get robbed, here's yeah. Your, here's their buddy on the other side. Right. Um, yeah, it, it is It is so sad, and uh, there's so much of it, so many. Um, and I used to see what you do, and it's, it's, there's definitely an element of the totally. You know, the ones, like I always say, people ask me if I still do, uh, you know, help the homeless on the strip, but... I would not approach the people who are left here right now, you know? I'd be a little concerned. And that they don't travel in groups anymore. They're like individuals. So then I feel a little awkward just like stopping a dude. Hey, you want a pair of socks? And I mean, they might say yes, they might say no. Half the time they're going to be like, no, but I'll take some money if you have it and whatnot. I don't know when they're going to flip out. Or flip out, you know? I don't want to be stabbed with a plastic fork. You know, for any reason. But in the local areas there, how's it by you on your side over there? You know, it was when I moved in in the beginning. I didn't see a whole lot, but now I, I see it everywhere. Um, yep. Where they're kind of they're living in the washes. Mm -hmm. um, and then there, the thing that got me, and this is really within I'd say the last two months or so. They're just. They're just camping on the street now, like 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 in the street, on the sidewalk. That they'll set up tents. Like you'll be trying to just walk on a regular sidewalk, and you there's just somebody just sleeping like with it. Yeah, I know. Um, that that's that's what I'm. I I suspect that when they swept them all off the strip for F1, they had to push them somewhere. There's no secret shelter that they're all in, so they're all in the residential areas. And I have them all around my place too. But they're not even yeah. like, you see not that this. They're not even all Greg. somewhere safe and quiet. They're just in the street literally. Literally, yeah. Passed out or whatever. You know, trying to get some sleep, stepping on yeah, it's bad. And I do help them like when I can. I mean I don't help them close to my house because that just sort of inspires them to stay in the area, you know, but whenever I go to the bodegas or I go to El Super or I go to places like that, I always have stuff in the car to give away, you know, to help them, and they're thankful, they're in little groups and whatnot, but it still makes you a little nervous. I don't really see, other than just regular terrible organizations, I don't really see any government officials or really doing No. In fact, it's like you said, if you actually hand out stuff, they actually get upset with you. Yeah. They're like, no. Oh, How know. dare you? You know, we need our taste. Yeah. That, that, that's exactly what happened. Uh, when the news contacted me, they were like, no, uh, we don't approve of you doing it on your own. It has to be done through an organization. What? Money? Yeah, okay. And the funny thing is, someone had once sent me... Um, they're not with, they, I don't, I haven't seen them on the channel in like well over a year, but they sent me, um, cases and cases and cases of things, like stuff that, I think it was like soap and, you know, toothpaste and things like that. People, you know, people who are still here have done the same and I distribute it, but this individual, what's going on? Just watch it. I, I appreciate I it. I haven't been here before. And uh, I thought I'd walk down here. I just was looking at my phone. I had to see you. Cool. Say hello. Hey, guys. Great show. Thank you very much. I appreciate yeah, you. You're going to be the super. Oh, I'm not going to say no to that. I sure love you, the brother. It's not much, but it's fun. Love for me. Hey, cool. That's Thank you, man. Coffee appreciate it. Hey. Thanks, man. You get, you good job, okay? Thank Thanks. you. Keep up the good work. All right. That's coffee. <laughs> Sick. Um... But anyway, I mean, this was a case of, this. it seemed like it came from uh, some industrial place. Anyway, long story short, it was like 1,000 soaps. What, it was cases of 1,000. I mean, it was a lot, and there's no way I can distribute it, per se. I ended up finally finding an outlet for it because it was just too much. 
and I thank the person, yada, yada, yada. Long story short is I tried giving it to some people who directly work with shelters and whatnot. They turned it down. Really? They turned, they literally turned it down. They were like, oh, the, a couple of them said, bring it down and we'll look through it. If it's something that we could use, we'll take it. So I'm like, uh, you're already saying no, but I'll give it a try anyway. I went to the four quote unquote charitable, organi charitable organizations in town and they all were like, nah. Nothing we could do with this. Nothing you can do with soap wow. for the homeless people. Nothing you can do with shampoo for the homeless people. Seriously, um, and that just floored me. No, they were like, no. What else do you got? I'm like, what do you, I said to them, what do you want me to do with it? There's no way that the people you're working with can use these bars of soap. And they're like, anything else? I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know, because they can't make any money off of it. You know. They're like, oh, bring it to Goodwill so they can profit off it. I'm not going to do that. Ultimately, I did find some people who distributed it. Um, they worked with, not quite FEMA, but like a private version of FEMA for people who were getting kicked out and put on the street and whatever. So they ended up taking it, and they probably still are distributing it to this day. But, you know, I was floored by that. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> the punk rock museum. I haven't made it over there yet. I'm sure it's a matter of time. Yeah, let's see what the chat was saying. I don't know. It's this uh, cool dude. He said he was a uh, good watch. Uh, you hear a Jersey accent and a Brooklyn accent. The courtyard over by Fremont has the core shelters. Oh, it does, does it? They even have buses at door. Yeah, the funny thing is that um, the signs all over the the surrounding downtown area where uh, the arts district is, they literally have signs that say no camping or resting or sleeping on the streets. And they sleep right under the signs. So, yeah, this is a bit crazy. I think Andy brought it up in, in the chat the other night. Like, they're, they're just not, I guess there's rules and they're just not really enforcing them. I mean, I'm not going to try it. No, I don't know. They get donated soaps by everyone. I, yeah, I don't, I mean, good for them, but they still should take it. I, I don't care, you know? <laughs> they, if someone's offering something to help their cause, you know, a charitable organization shouldn't tell you to piss off if you want to give them something, you know? I, 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 I do have a problem with that. Oh, we got enough soap. Well, what do you need, money? Is that what you're asking me? I, uh, my place is pretty secure, but I see them going through the surrounding apartment place dumpsters, the ones yeah, that are on the outside. Um, and that's illegal, too. Mm -hmm. but I mean, I can't even tell you how many people I saw go through these garbage pails. But they're like individuals. They're not in groups. That one guy we just saw a second ago, he had one sneaker. You know, walking around with a sock and one sneaker. that That's sad, but, you know, people running across the border are getting it all. And that pisses me off. Before I moved here, though, I'd never seen somebody all the way down there. Like, I don't even know how you, you'd have to, it'd be dangerous to get in there. So if you have no issues. I just wish there was something. I wish there was something I could do. Yeah, I know. This town is more operates on. That's one thing I gotta say. For all its beauty, it operates on the out of sight, out of mind when it comes to the social issues here. Because it's not good for tourism, you know. Yada yada yada. They're gonna have to watch it. Like they have up the security at Fremont, but there's been times at Fremont. because people are just kind of, ah, or, or whatever, just kind of flipping out. So they're, they're going to have to do something about it on some level. How's it been lately? Oh, Fremont? Yeah. yeah Fremont's have been, been great I've now. I've been down there I've, months. I've seen more, uh, more marshals, just more uh, people walking through, and they're kind of ripping up problems. 
surprised they deployed the marshal service there. I mean, they were making such a big deal out of that, like, 90-pound chick and the other dude being in charge. Wow. That's unusual. Oh. Well. Bolo. gotta go down there again. I'm having such issues with connection. I, I, I'm i just like throttled right now in what I can accomplish. It's kind of beat. And the music appears. Yeah, and the music, but you know, once in a while it's nice to go do. <clears throat> Isn't that a nice view? It's actually a little darker than it appears right now, but it's still pretty nice. Tom Law, see you next week, bro. Oh, I remember those days. The countdowns. Mm hmm. Next week came so fast. Alright, let me just make sure I didn't miss any super chat activities. Oh, got everyone, everything. Thank you, thank you. You're yep, very welcome. Oh, Solomia. I love the barber poles. That's one of my jams. Oh, yeah. Ron, hook me up. Wow, it's so dark. Brighten it up a little bit, asshole. All right, people, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna go uh, run inside, get a little coffee, yada, yada, yada. And one last time, I'm gonna invite you to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell button to get notified when I do this again, which is at least five times a week. Gonna be on a sports channel. You know how to take care of all the stuff down there. So, from me and Ron here on the Las Vegas Strip, we're all for the go.